Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create various outlines to text in DaVinci Resolve 17.2.2. Inside your edits window, go to effects library, underneath toolbox, select titles, and go to find text plus. Click and drag one of these filters to your edits timeline. By default, the text will appear on screen for a duration of 5 seconds. In order to change this, use the Selection Mode tool which you can also do by pressing A and by selecting the end of the text edit and dragging your mouse cursor to resize if you wish. Paying attention to the duration change which appears at the top inside the dark box next to your cursor as you do this and the total duration which will appear in the bottom. Select your text edit, go to Inspector Underneath text, replace custom title with the message that you wish to have appear on screen. Alter the font color and size applied to your message with the variables underneath the text box. In order to add an outline, go to shading. Under shading elements, change one to two. And to enable properties for this particular effect, tick enabled. By default, a solid red outline will appear around each of your characters, as the text outline option will be selected by appearance. Various options underneath properties such as opacity, thickness and colour can also be adjusted if you wish. And also the join style which changes the appearance of the corners of your outline. What if you wish to apply a gradient appearance to your outline? Under type in properties, change from solid to gradient, select the relevant triangular node which appears underneath the shading gradient bar to change the colour underneath. Modify the intensity of the colour that you are selecting using the right sided column which appears inside the colour window. Ticking the adapt to perspective box will reduce the intensity of the colour shades in your outline and also the size. To add other colours to your shading gradient Hover your mouse cursor over the shading gradient bar so that an additional symbol appears next to your cursor. Click once, select the relevant triangular node and select the colour from the box below. Selecting and dragging each of these nodes will increase and decrease the presence of a particular shade that the node applies to and also the position that this appears on your actual text. To remove a colour node from your shading gradient bar, select the relevant node and drag your mouse cursor upwards, letting go so that this is removed. Scroll down the properties to find mapping angle, which will change the layout of your color shades once this is altered. Decreasing the mapping size will enhance the strength of each of the shades which make up your shading gradient. And this will also reduce the blending of the color shades that you have chosen. If I return to text and add a second line to my message, Returning to shading, I will go through each of the mapping level options. Text and for image applies the gradient across the whole canvas. Gradients can also be applied to each individual lines in your text plus filter. Along with each individual word. And character. To add a blur effect to your outline, select Softness. Increasing the X value will add a stretched horizontal blur to your outline. The same effect can be applied vertically using the Y variable. Ensure that both X and Y values are the same to create a balanced blurred effect on both dimensions. To enhance the brightness of your outline, increase the Glow value. And to reduce the blurred effect, reduce the value for Blend which will then produce a similar effect that we had when we initially applied a gradient to our outline. If you feel that the softness and glow effects that you've applied to your text outlines makes the text itself too difficult to read, you can also tick the outside only box to make the text itself more interpretable. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.